hey guys this is E with scrapbooking with me and we are gonna make a little clutch journal purse I guess you could call it it's a little clutch journal purse and I got this idea from I think her name is Gina and let me look and see her channel name hold on and I'll put her link below Uh, the Firefly Studio 67, and that is Gina. I got this idea from her. These are the, they are called Giant Lunch Bags. They're just the great value ones that I got at Walmart a long time ago. You can do it with the smaller ones if you want, but this holds a nice journal. So, now I went ahead, and I'll show you kind of how I worked this. I'll go ahead and do another one, because I plan on doing more than one of these. They'll be great for our little Christmas gift. So, just open them up all the way. And it's going to be crinkling, so if you don't like crinkling, just turn your volume down. All right, and then I just kind of get these seams on the side somewhat near straight. And just work your way back. And you'll have to put your hand back in and straighten it out all that kind of good stuff and all of the bags are not going to be perfectly even you know that I mean these are cheap cheap made bags and then as I work it up toward here I just start pinching it in and then when you start to fold it down you'll notice that you know you'll have a little crinkling right in here and a little bit of extra material there don't worry about it what I did was I just kind of rubbed it down folded it and let it go because all of this is going to be covered up so you got this little bit right here go ahead and poke that out a little bit what you're going to look for and I'll show you in just a second what you're going to look for okay see that's all crinkledy don't worry about it we're going to cover it all up and this is actually going to be folded back up that way so you're not going to see it anyway and get that little bit right there out. You know me, I'm a little bit too picky when it comes to this, but you don't have to be this picky. So as long as you can fold this over, because this is going to be the front part of your clutch, and that looks pretty good, like a little flap for your clutch, that's all you want. So don't even worry about this inside. We're going to put paper all over this and cover it up. So that's how you start your folding. I'm just going to go back to this one since I've kind of creased it well and got it going. Now, I think Gina stitched this down. I'm just going to put a little glue on it and glue it down because it just needs something on there to hold it down until you can get your paper and everything on. All of this is going to be covered up right here anyway. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it and press that down. So there we go. We got that glued down. And then I'm just going to check my little front again, and that looks good. Now, this is actually, I am going to use um, Hello Susan's paper collection. And I do believe this one is called Autumn Butterfly, if I'm not mistaken. Susan, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this one is called Autumn Butterfly. And since it's winter, I should have used it probably a while ago, but I'm going to use it now. And I'm just going to pick out a paper that's got a good focal point on it. Because I want to cover the front part of this first. Because this is going to be the front right here. So I want to cover that first. So, and it's going to fold probably, I would think, about right there. You can go ahead and fold this bottom part up just so you can see. And you know, your bags sometimes have that little fold in them anyway. So yeah, it's going to come down about right there. And that's going to be okie dokie. Okie dokie smoky. Right there. Yeah, that'll work. So this is going to be the front part. So I just want to pick out one that... that Butterfly would look beautiful there, wouldn't it? Might do that. Let's see if I've got one that 
Ooh, I don't know about that. Um, there is my butterfly and my number. <laughs> Susan did that for me, I'm sure. <laughs> So I may go this route. Now I'm going to leave some of my paper bags showing. I know that Gina left some of her showing, but then I saw other people that have done it and they collaged all the way to the edge of their paper bag. You can do it any way that you want. I am going to leave mine showing and I want this right in the middle of my flap that goes on the front. So I'll collage over here and um, we'll just kind of do it that way. So let me, I'm going to trim a little bit of this off just so that I can have a, a deckled edge there. And I should have took the bag out from under it. So when you use your tear ruler, don't have anything under it because it doesn't like to tear when you have something under there. And let's see. I'm just going to mark mine. right there. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to collage it all. So, And I know I won't finish this tonight because I have the live with Betty here in just a little bit. You guys can come over and watch the live if you want to. We got a couple of surprises and we may even do a giveaway tonight. Who knows? She don't know about it, but we may do it. I, had, I hadn't told her about it yet. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, let's see. I think I'll come to about right there, maybe, with that. Now, you could just tear pieces and put on here, and I probably will the rest of it. But I wanted to start with this one to kind of have it to where it would show well in the front just for my focal point the rest of the bag I'll probably just tear and put down but just look at that isn't that beautiful and I know it's closer to winter than it is autumn but you guys also know that I got behind on everything and I got behind on showing her digital so it's it's been a little bit of a chore but I love this digital and there's no way she would have done a butterfly and an eight unless she was thinking of me I don't think <laughs> were you thinking of me Susan <laughs> oh me but she knows I love both of them all right now this has got to sit this way because when it folds over you need to be able to see it so that's what we're gonna do let's put it down like that okay now there's a couple of different things that you could do to put all of this down. I am going to use my art glitter glue. You can use your collage podge, you can use your glue stick, use whatever you have. I'm going to use this and then I'm probably going to go back over it with some collage podge or mod podge or something because I want to seal it real well. But that's strictly up to you what you use. I know that um, I think Gina used just some Mod Podge or something that she had. So just use what you have to seal this. All right. Now, and I'm also going to ink around my bag too. I don't know if she did that. But I just think it'll be pretty to ink around my bag. There we go. Now I need to put a few little pieces right here. And I can just tear those from whatever. I don't want to tear my little bird up though, so I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use some of these pieces that the grandbabies actually had, um, had been using before I realized it. And these, I'm probably just going to tear by hand. Because these are going to be smaller pieces. So, tear this by hand. So, what have you guys been up to today? What's everybody been doing? 
on this Friday. I know you haven't been um, you haven't been talking to me much today. I haven't got a lot of conversation today like I normally do on YouTube and around. I guess everybody's busy. Maybe you're Christmas shopping. So, you guys know the cat that, that came up, that Brooklyn named. Well, I think I'm going to have to get rid of her. She has, she has caused some problems with Presley's asthma. And Brooklyn's, well, Brooklyn doesn't really have asthma, but she has a lot of allergies. And then Ashley's asthma. And allergies so I think I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and get rid of her either see if I can find her another home or something I hate to I don't want to send her to the pound or anything like that I want to see if I can find her a home to send her to she's a good kitty but they just they can't tolerate it every time Brooklyn and Presley comes over they start sneezing and coughing and even with her outside, I mean, I don't bring her in. Even with her outside, they're coughing and sneezing their heads off. So, I just don't think I'm going to be able to keep her. Which is a little sad, and then in another way, it's not. I'd rather my, I'd rather my grandbabies be healthy as have a kitty cat around anyway. But, plus, she is absolutely about to tear my screens off of my windows when I'm out in my shop working she sees me I guess and she just about tears my screens off she's already got holes in them and I don't like that because that means I've got to replace them <laughs> I don't like to have to replace screens they're not cheap so I don't know what I'm gonna have to do there but I mean I've tried to shear her away and go out and fuss at her and that doesn't do any good so I'm thinking that wherever she come from, if if another person had her, they must have had her in the house. And like I said, we've tried to find an owner and nobody will claim her, but somebody must have kept her in the house. Maybe when she was a baby, she was kept in the house, and then when she grew up, they didn't, didn't care for her and they turned her loose. I don't know, but she wants to come in so bad, and I can't allow her in the house because that would absolutely tear my kids up. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Okay. Now, we need to cover this right here. So, y'all give me suggestions. I've not ever had to get rid of an animal before. Well, you know, we've always, we always had puppy dogs or something like that and never had to, never had to get rid of one. So, what do I need to do? Y'all let me know. Do I just post it online? Do I call somebody? Do I? What do I do? <laughs> I'm pitiful. <laughs> okay, I think. Let's see. I'm going to tear this first. And like I said, I know that we're not going to get finished with this. But we will get a chunk of it done. And then I'm going to tear that a little bit larger. And then we can always finish later. Okay, I think I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit more. Didn't allow quite enough. It's going to be a little bit big, and I don't want it to be too big. And 
And this is a good way to use your digitals because you've got a pretty thick paper here, paper bag. And then you've got your digitals that, you know, these are just printed on regular copy paper. And so it's a good way to use your digitals and they'll still be plenty strong enough for what you need. I'm going to tear it off right there. Oh, yes. I think that is going to be gorgeous. Very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and ink around this. Now you could use just collage pieces, pieces on this front if you wanted and not one solid piece. But I just wanted this whole paper on there because I think it's pretty. But you could do it any way that you wanted to. Okay, we've got the top and we've got that. Now we need to cover in here. This is going to kind of be, since when we put the journal in there, this is going to kind of be full. So I'm not going to fold this right now. I'm going to go ahead and put some paper in here. We don't have to cover down below this, so I'm just going to draw a little line right there. We don't have to cover down below that little line, but I'm going to cover here because that part's going to open. And let's see. That looks like it would probably work right there. I think I might just collage that, though, and just use some of my scraps. What, is, what does that sound like? Sound like a plan? Use some of my scraps up. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just use some scraps. It's going to look just as pretty, but this is going to be on the inside anyway, but uh, it's going to look just as pretty collaged. Okay. Probably, let's see, I think I just want this butterfly part across there, so I'm just going to tear that. And I won't even worry if it's long enough or short enough. I'm not going to worry about that because I can come back and fill in the pieces if I need to. Oh yeah, that'll work. And then we can just fill in these little pieces with some scrap paper. Now once we put the collage podge or decoupage, whatever you're going to put on here, it's going to seal all this down. So don't worry if you've got a little piece sticking up here or there. You're going to be able to seal all of that down when you go over it. Now if you don't want to go over it, that's up to you. You don't have to. 
but I will probably de most definitely go over mine. So I watched a pretty good movie last night. And like I said before, I've told you guys this, I'm not a big TV or movie fan. I don't really spend a lot of time on TV. I have probably spent more time on TV in the last eight weeks than I ever have because, you know, not too much else to do. Not anybody to talk to. But I don't normally spend a lot of time on television. But I watched, it's called, it was called Greenland last night. And I liked it. Um, Alicia said she had watched it. And she said it's a little bit weird. But it wasn't weird to me. But now you got to realize my child doesn't really watch a lot of movies. So. And she likes the, I don't know what you call it, soap opera type movies maybe. She's a lovey-dovey. She likes the lovey-dovey stuff and I don't. So, her taste and my taste is completely different, but she said it was okay. She said, I just didn't, I didn't care for it too much, but uh, I, I really like, enjoyed it. It was action-packed, and it had a guy in it, and I, I don't know the name, his name because I can't remember names of actors and actresses, but um, it had a guy in it that I like to watch in movies. He's pretty good at his acting skills, and anyway, he, uh, he did a really good job in the movie. His wife and his little boy was just precious. Okay. Put that there. Oh, so that will be the inside flap. And that'll work. And we could cut a little, since I, you know, this looks a little bit odd there. We could cut one of her little labels and put across there. Let me see what I got here. This is one that the kiddos had played around with. Cut this and put it on there. Just do your own collaging. You guys know how to do that, and you usually make it very, very pretty. I've seen some of your projects. Don't sit out there and tell me you don't. There we go. When you've got something that looks a little odd, cover it up with a label or something. we will make it work. Um, that needs some glue under it. That's going to be stitched too, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And then I'd like to put a different kind of little label down through here. So I'm going to cut this little piece right here that just says butterfly. And they almost cut the tail end of it off, but I think I got it. And then tomorrow we'll probably, we'll finish this and we'll try to make the little journal that goes on the inside of it. So that is going to be all that shows there and that'll fold down like that or kind of roll down that's what it'll do okay and now i want to cover the back right here i don't know that she covered the back of hers but i want to cover mine i think i might just take this and put it on the back and i may just go all the way across with it and you, she could always just journal there too if she wanted to so let's go ahead and mark where we want to tear this. And the journal is going to be unusual too. I didn't see uh, Gina make the, her journal, so I don't know how she made hers. But um, I got an idea on how I want to make mine. Yeah, I think that's going to work right there. So Bethany came over today and she and I worked on some new things that we're putting in the store. They won't go in until our Black Friday sale, and that will be next Friday. Next, next Friday is Black Friday. 
So <clears throat> they'll go in next Friday when our sale starts. And then Benji and Alicia brought over a whole big box full of items that they had made ready to go to be released. These are all be new releases. They're, there's never been in the store before. So they brought a big box of things over that will go in there. So we are getting stocked up and ready. I can't wait for you guys to see the new product. Let's see. Yeah, this will be right the right way up. There we go. Yeah, let's see that will kind of roll down. It won't fold down, it'll roll down like that. Clip this little piece off right here, sticking up. All right. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it to my sewing machine, and I am going to sew. I'm going to sew the this together. So I will sew, you know, around through here, across here, down through here. When I come here, I'll sew that together because this is going to be the pocket that holds the journal. I'll come across the bottom, and then I'll come back up this side and sew the, the sides together like that. Um, I don't think, I'm not going to put any kind of pull or anything in there. I want that to be a complete pocket that holds our journal. So, I am going to, I'm going to stitch it, and then I'm going to put a coat of collage polish on mine and let it sit overnight and then tomorrow it'll be ready to work on. So I'm going to stitch mine first just so I don't have to wait on it on the collage podge to dry. But if you have Mod Podge, use that. I just happen to have just a little bit of collage podge left and I think it'll be enough for this project and then I will be going to the new collage pod, uh, the new Mod Podge that we have in the store because they don't make my collage podge anymore but this mod podge has the same ingredients so it's supposed to be basically the same so let me go stitch it and i'll be right back okay there is our stitching got that done i just did a little messy stitch all the way around i did not go across the bottom because i didn't want my pocket to be closed up any at all any more than what it is already now I should have, before I put close my pockets up here, I should have stitched across here, and I didn't. I forgot all about that. I was thinking about the cat. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and just close this up with some glue. But go ahead and stitch across this front before you close your pockets up. It's just me. Me and my not thinking straight. But if you stitch across here, that's going to make it look really pretty, too. I just didn't even think about it. So there we go. We've got that put together. Now I'm going to coat it with a coat of collage posh. So let me grab that. I'll coat it real quick. And I'll probably just fast forward the coating of it because, I mean, you guys, it's just like painting. You know how to do that. This is a heat resistant mat and it also it doesn't nothing sticks to it, a non-stick craft mat. So it's got a lot of uses. I always put it down just to protect my surface. And like I said, I've got a little more of this. And I'm hoping it's gonna be just enough to go all over this. What this is gonna do and, and you do not have to do this. You don't even have to stitch. But what this is going to do is it's going to help seal this paper down so that it doesn't come up when it's bent and used and opened and closed, that kind of thing. But if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Okay. 
This is a matte finish, so it doesn't give it any kind of shine. Now, anywhere I put that ink, you're going to see a little bit of that ink fade because Tim Holtz ink is a water-based ink. And anytime you hit it with a liquid, then it's going to reactivate it. But if you just go over it kind of quickly, it won't. It won't run. I'm just going to put a slight little... This is just a protectant coating. Not a necessity. Okay. I need to dry that with my heat tool before I turn it over. So let me get that. And this is a Tim Holtz heat tool. It's very quiet. And it heats very well. It's, he made it for this purpose. You could let this dry just naturally if you wanted to, but since I'm wanting to do the other side before I end this video, I'm going to do this. Dries pretty fast. Now, I told you I was going to ink the edges. I'm waiting until I get this down before I ink the edges. You could put the ink on before if you want to. I just didn't want all of that ink to start running, so I'm just going to ink it a little bit at the end. Let's try enough that I can do the other side. I think I'm going to have plenty of this. I'll probably put out too much. Is my mail the only mail that's running late late these days? Or is everybody else is running late too? It's got to where my mail doesn't get here till sometimes... And see, my ink is running right here because I didn't print this on a laser printer. But I'm not going to worry about that. That's okay with me. Um, sometimes my mail doesn't get here until like 5 o'clock. And normally, it used to run around 11, 11.30, something like that. But I don't know what. I guess it's the holidays starting already. Okay, there we go. And the reason my ink ran a little bit, even though I didn't print it on a laser printer, you could, it still wouldn't run if I had not put so much pressure on it. When you're using collage podge or something over the top of a, a piece that you have printed on a regular printer, if you'll just go over it real quick and don't press down, your ink's not going to run. Like I said, I just I pressed a little bit too hard. I'm going to go ahead and dry this real quick. Just dry it partially and then I'll lay it aside until tomorrow. And we, we may even add some more labels and different things to it. And don't worry if your bag puckers just a little bit. It, that's okay. It'll straighten out on its own when it dries well. It'll just make it crinkly. Okay, all right. I think we've got that good enough that I'm going to lay it aside and let it dry. So, that is it. That's all that we're going to do today. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll make the little journal that goes inside. I'll do a little bit more decorating on here. And then uh, this, this will be ready to go. We'll put a closure on here. I'll have to decide what type of closure that I want to do. But we'll put a closure on here so that we can close it up. And I just want to make sure all my little pieces are holding together, and they are. This is like a glue as well, so it glues all of these little edges down. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I will put Gina's channel down below. Go over and check hers out. She made some beautiful ones. I plan on making quite a few of these because I think they're going to be pretty quick once you kind of get the flow of it. And then, you know, you can set it night and just open your bags up and fold those and then just cover them with paper the next morning. You do not have to stitch. If you don't stitch, don't worry about it. Just put your paper down, make sure it's glued good, and you're ready to go. We'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.